an all-American roof. This guy just painted it. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm a damn proud American. I, I, I love my freedom. And, uh... New York artist Scott Lobato got the flag on the roof idea while he was helping out along the Gulf Coast post-Hurricane Katrina. It was this crazy New Yorker on this hot Mississippi roof. And right there, my 20-hour bus ride home, I said, I got to do this in every state. He agrees this 50 flags in 50 states idea sounds very Forrest Gumpish, but the guy is making some serious headway. He's been to Alaska, Arkansas, Michigan, South Dakota, Montana, Florida, and a bunch of other states. The Twin Lakes Brewing Company in Greenville, Delaware is roof number 37. I emailed him about two months ago, and then on Sunday he called me from about 20 minutes away, and he said, hey, by the way, I want to come look at your, uh, your brewery. And I mean, look at this canvas. You can't get a bigger canvas than this. He's like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I was like, great. That's Scott Steele. He just cruises around in his big Chevy. He just kind of picks his roof as he goes along. All he wants is to make that post-9-11 kind of stripped-down, nonpartisan patriotism cool again. It's damn cool, man. It's, it's, uh, I'm a cool dude. I'm pretty cool. I, just, I want it to be cool again. Once his Delaware roof was complete, Scott got back in the Chevy, took off for Maryland in search of another roof for old glory. I'm just, I love my country. I love it. And I'm just going around to say how much I love it, you know. Beautiful, isn't it? Scott did an auto body shop in Upper Darby as well. A shipping company even gave him a free lift to a rooftop in Hawaii. And later next month, he plans to put his final paint job on a rooftop in Arlington, Virginia. Live in Greenville, Delaware, Tim Furlong, NBC10 News. They really are beautiful. They really are. Why not? Well, coming up next, an update on all of today's...